Greetings, one and all, and welcome to Democracy 3 with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to one of my first ever attempts at playing this game. So if you are here to see someone do exceedingly well, to have a political mind and be politically savvy, then you are definitely in the wrong place. However, if you are here just to have a bit of fun and see Lathrix likely be assassinated by every group possible, then you're definitely in the right place. So for those who don't know, Democracy is a game about democracy. You are put in charge of a political party of a country, and it's your job to try and stay in office for as long as possible, or as long as the game will allow, allowing your people to be happy and safe, and ultimately vote for you in the next election. However, things can go very, very wrong, and the game can be very, very complex. So probably not going to do too well, but let's get straight into it. I have played a little bit in the past, so I know the very basics. I won't be stumbling on things like controls, but please forgive me if I just miss really obvious things and do some very stupid decisions. Of course, we are going to be choosing the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, commonly known as the UK or Britain. Play. So... This is all the standard stuff, so I'll just keep it as standard, just to make it as fair as possible. 100% difficulty, 40% political apathy. We have a term length of four years, with no term limit. And of course, we do have the monarchy. God bless the Queen. And play. Now, thankfully, it is a very quick loading time. Congratulations on your election victory. And I've just realised I didn't name my party. You know what? That's not good enough. We can't we, we can't deal with this. We can't do this without naming our party. How silly are we? We are, of course, the Lathrixian Legion. There we are. Now everything is better. Okay, congratulations on your victory. The lives of all 63 million citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you will need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of your citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. So, pretty much everything isn't looking great. Unemployment is ridiculously bad, and our GDP is also very, very bad. And here we are. Lots of choices, everything affecting everything. Capitalists hate me, middle income people hate me, parents aren't very happy, no one's really happy, other than the retired, the conservatives, the state employees, the farmers, and the environmentalist environmentalists. So, what I do know is all these lovely red buttons here are major problems. They are problems which are causing some serious issues for our economy or something else. And fixing them as soon as possible would be fantastic. We are currently in a deficit of 3.69 billion per year, meaning we are indeed currently losing money. So one thing I do want to do is try and solve the asthma epidemic. Because I remember doing this before, and how I did it before was be really nice to the railroads and stuff like that, but also, although it's very expensive, I did absolutely adore the national monorail system, but that's really, really expensive, and I just remembered that. Ignore what I just said, that's not going to happen. We don't have enough money at the moment, and once we go into enough debt, we're going to have even more problems, because our GDP keeps going down, because our credit rating, or whatever it's called, keeps going down. I'm talking a lot, and looking a lot, and trying to figure out what I want to do first. Okay. So, we have this many political capital to spend, and that's how many changes we can make. We need to fix quite a few problems. The asthma epidemic is affecting parents in a negative way, but nothing else. Oh no, it is also affecting productiv uh, productivity, which is affecting, like, everything. It's a really, really bad thing to have. So, well, have less of, I should say. What issue do I want to go first? Hmm. We do need more money. Now, political policing, I remember, is quite cheap for what it does, and that would lower crime, violent crime, and racial tension, which in turn would help to lower organised crime, which would be really, really good. So I'm going to do that, because that's quite good. It'll also help to lower alcohol abuse, which is currently one of our major problems. 
Really, getting rid of all of these would be fantastic. These affect health and everything else. There's so many negative effects for so many things. We could tax alcohol a little bit more, but it would have an adverse effect of making poverty increase, because of course people will still be drinking alcohol, it's just going to, to cost a lot more, so if you're poor, well, you're pretty much out of luck and screwed. Anyway, I do however want to increase rail usage and bus usage while decreasing motorists a little bit because of health reasons and stuff. But for now, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with first, so I am sorry about just kind of going around in circles here. What about if we do this first? I know this kind of sucks, but this would decrease unemployment. Oh lord, that costs so much. Okay, there's so much we need to do. I think unemployment is something we really need to do first, because unemployment is massively affecting homelessness. So let's focus on one issue at a time. Unemployment right now is ridiculous, and that is easily our biggest problem, which is negatively affecting pretty much everything. I mean, look at that effect on homelessness. It's ridiculousness. It's ridiculousness? That makes sense to me. So what about if we do go with the national monorail system? I know it's expensive, but... Lower the car usage, massive improvements for commuters, and massive unemployment negatives there. And that's going to cost a lot, so let's just go to the next turn. That will provide jobs and hopefully help out the environment a little bit, at least that's my logic. Yes, I know our deficit has increased. Debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. I'm going to limit... Uh, no. Both are bad. Like, literally, both of these are bad. but uh, And good for reasons. There's no positive here in terms of one is always the right choice. I'm going to limit purely because that might I think that has a positive outcome for the poor people in our country so that's pretty good. Well a lot of groups hate me right now particularly the Human Rights Society that's good. I mean that's fantastic. Organized crime hasn't been affected wait what does affect organized crime? Only the intelligence service is actually lowering it right now but it does affect crime and violent crime, which uh, violent crime, which actually means that community policing isn't going to help organised crime at all. I mean, we could improve this. The problem with this is it will make our liberals very, very unhappy with us. But it would help stop organised crime, and it would help stop normal crime. Okay. We're going to be really poor really quick here, but I think we need to do it because of the long term. We just need to get some of the major problems sorted. Once again, especially with unemployment. So what else do we want to do with unemployment then? How else do we affect this in a positive way? Wow, that's so many bad things there. Okay, so our current low GDP is affecting it, of course. Our healthcare service, private schools, science funding, state health service, police force, all that stuff decreases it, and that's what we want. Military spending decreases it, because of course more people in in the military. Prisons decreases it. Actually, what would prisons do for some of these things? Ooh, how about private prisons? I remember that was a thing we could do. Like I say, it's been a while since I've done this, so please forgive me if I'm missing very obvious things. Like I say, I probably will be. I'm going to grab this, because if I'm fairly certain, it's good for capitalists, so that's good for me. It's good with conservatives, uh, conservatives, it's good with the liberals, crime goes down, and so does unemployment, okay. That's good by me. Now, this will start going down a little bit because community policing is in action. Alcohol consumption is affected positively by alcohol law at the moment because we're very liberal with it. Um, because of our low GDP, because of poverty. Actually, no, I think with the GDP going up, it increases. It's a little bit weird how it's set out, and once again, I am going to make mistakes. I do apologise. I think the environment's going to be a big problem for later. We have an uncompetitive economy, because our, pro our productivity is absolutely terrible at the moment. How about if we increase our education? That should also help with our unemployment, I think. 
Oh, wow, that increment. That's so expensive, even for just a little bit. But. Okay, we're going to increase it. Oh, no, we can't. We simply can't. We don't have enough political pa uh, capital. We might just have to skip from now. Either way, with private prisons being a little bit better now, our unemployment should be a bit better, and that should help a lot. And we're also going to massively increase regular prisons as well. I want that crime issue to be kind of gone. As at the moment, it's kind of terrible, honestly. It's affecting our tourism, our GDP, our everything. Torture de deportation. Police officers have arrested a con man who is a staying who is staying in our country illegally. Under normal circumstances, he would be eligible to be departed, sorry, deported back to his country. Believe it or not, I'm actually dyslexic. Of origin, the man claims that if we send him back to his homeland, it is likely he will be tortured by the government. Do we deport him or do we keep him here? So, obviously this is one of those issues where it's quite a big problem. He's broke the law by coming here and the fact he's here is just an affront to the law. However, sending him back would be basically the equivalent of killing him or torturing him, which I don't believe is fair. However, they're both problems, and of course, these choices affect mostly your votes, although some do other stuff. It's like, certain groups will really love it if I deport him, like I'm guessing patriots and stuff, but other groups will hate me for it, and the opposite. I'm actually going to keep him here because I don't like people being tortured in general. All is good, okay. How's unemployment looking? Should be slightly better. It's slightly better. It just takes some time for certain things to take effect, and clearly I'm not being very efficient here. So how am I? How do I... What is the best way to solve this problem? So what's feeding into it the most? GDP. Ooh, hello. You're a thing. Which is costing me a fortune. Oh, wow, look at that change to unemployment. Agriculture... Agriculture subsidies. There we go. For strategic reasons, some governments are happy to pay subsidies to farmers to ensure the security of the nation's food supply. This goes against free market e economics and can be very expensive. But it does safeguard jobs and votes. Of course, more farmers. Oh, and it also increases how many farmers there are. It decreases health. I actually don't know why that would decrease health. Uh, I'm get oh, of course, more food. There's going to be more food available cheaper, so of course, obesity and such. I'd assume, I assume that's logic. I'm going to do that, and once again, I understand I am going way into deficit. I'm hoping that going into deficit is worth it in the long run. Wow. Capitalists must freaking hate me. In fact, they do hate me. Private schools. We have regular health. We have the environment. We have private healthcare, which definitely isn't really a huge thing in the UK. It is certainly a thing, and you can go for it, but abortion law is something I'm not going to touch right now, because it's at the stage where everyone's happy enough. Also, also I'm, I'm just not going to delve into that topic, honestly. That is a can of worms I'm not going to be opening. Ooh, organized crime is going down. Once that's gone, that'll help with our GDP and such, because it's affecting our crime and violent crime once that goes down. Legal drug consumption. Would drugs help? Drugs would probably help. Immigration, we don't really care about too much right now. Technological backwater. Wow, that is massively affecting us. So, we need some more tech, is what it's saying. Ooh, hello. Helps with unemployment. Helps with tech, helps with energy efficiency, upgrades our GDP. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'm going to go absolutely insane. We're building a freaking particle in a particle accelerator and going massively into debt. Oh yeah, that's some serious debt. <laughs> Everything has got deep downgraded. We're so screwed. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that's us right now. Okay, so far no big groups after us at least. But how is everything else currently looking? Yes, it's going down! Let's just carry on! Oh, that deficit is so bad! <laughs> That's so bad. But we need to solve the problems. I'm a firm believer of we are going to have to screw ourselves royally before we start doing anything else. I don't want to increase taxes right now, though. Uh, I might have to... Oh, that's such a huge increase in our funds. And it would decrease car usage, but it would make a lot of people very unhappy. You know what? I'm going to do that. 
I do want to get people out off the cars a little bit. I spend some of that money back here. Massive rail usage increase. Um, income earnings on people. Unemployment goes down. But I don't have enough firm capital at the moment, so it doesn't really matter too much. Sorry, petrol lovers. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Curb banking bonuses. There have been calls to, in the media for government to do something about the big bonus payments that are being made to company CEOs despite falling. Sorry, failing. No, falling! <laughs> Profits. In cases where companies have failed to make a profit. Okay. I'm going to allow it because capitalists currently want to kill me. And I mean that literally. Capitalists soon will literally want to kill me and thus I'm doing nothing. It's absolutely fine. Shut up. I know. We're losing a lot of money. Oh, that's so much money we're losing. <laughs> okay. Middle income people, guess what? You're screwed. I'm sorry. I know. I know. You hate me. I would hate me too, honestly. I completely agree. I completely agree. I would hate me as well right now. But how is that unemployment currently looking? And I know I'm focusing way too much on unemployment. I get it, but still. But with our GDP dropping, that's actually going to... Oh, that's going to negatively affect it. So I've, I've just... I'm doing nothing. Organised crime is almost over, but not quite. What's actually feeding into it, then, I wonder? If only intelligence services are causing it. I'm guessing we could pro probably do something with one of these. I'm assuming these will actually help out. Insufficient capital, however, because I only have one. Okay, next turn. I get it. I get it. I'm screwing up everything. I understand. Capitalists hate me. I don't understand money. I, I get it, okay? I completely understand. It's my fault. Completely. We could allow gambling. But that would actually feed into um, thingy. The thing we're trying to solve right now. The thing whose name I can't think of. Ooh, I do like these though. All Maybe this is the kind of stuff we really should have got into in the first place. Things like small business grants and stuff. Stuff which upgrades the GDP, even if we're in debt. That's what we should have done. That's what we should have done. Stuff like that. Don't really know what you do, honestly. I wish I could look at more information on you before purchasing you. There's a lot of stuff I want at the moment. Public libraries would increase a lot of stuff. But cost us a bit as well. But education increases, and that's a big thing for us at the moment as well, which feeds into everything else. I imagine. I'm hoping. Sure. Uh, no, no, no. I wanted the other one. The one there. Small business grants. Massively upgrades our GDP, upgrades our self employed, more self employed socialists hate us, capitalists love us, and get more money. Yeah, okay, deal. We need that at the moment. We need stuff to force that up, even if we're losing money because I'm incompetent. Other people, do my work for me. Come on, guys. Surprisingly, people like me. I have no idea why. I'm ruining the country. More than it's already been ruined in the past. I am the ruination of this world. Now, decreasing this would increase tourism. However, increasing it would give me more money. Uh, yeah. Just keep it for now. Just let it play out for a second. God damn it, guys! Can't you see people hate me enough? I don't need you doing this! Stupid ministers. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, I'm poor. Whoa, I'm not just poor, I am ridiculously poor. It's going up slowly. I mean, look, I mean, that's a good sign, I think. Anyone who's played this game, I do apologise. I do understand I am being a complete derp, not understanding some of the more basic elements. What I think I should have done is been more... Not quite as extreme in the ways I've done things. Now this may come as a weird one, but legalised prostitution. Because it upgrades our GDP and takes away organised crime. I'm very sorry to those who are, who are strong in their religious convictions. I'm sorry parents and I'm sorry conservatives. But if you want to pay for sexual acts, you can pay for sexual acts now in the UK. Deal with it. <laughs> That's so terrible. I want to do that as well because I want more commuters. I want less cars still. Oh, I know it's costing me. I don't care. I'm just ruining everything now. Yay! We're just a bee now. 
On the upside, next turn, organized crime's gonna stop. Someone's gonna skip ahead. Yay! Oh. Can I just... <sighs> On the upside, there's no more organized crime, so crime's gonna be lower and stuff, which is good. Actually, by the looks of it, since that's gone, crime's basically gone away. That's really good. Now, we do still have an alcohol problem. Which is really bad. Because that's affecting health, and health's affecting everything else. And of course, now we, now, we, now we have obesity, that's going to affect health as well. And that's, of course, because of our subsidies we did earlier. So, how do I get out of this mess? I could tax people more, but that's a big issue, and people will hate me for it. I could be smarter about things and be a bit more here and there. Uh, anything which, which, which currently decreases GDP, I don't want to touch. That's the problem. Sorry, people. You're now paying more for... Oh, no, that doesn't, it doesn't give us enough money. Petal tax have already increased, so what can I do? Alcohol tax? It's bad for poverty, but... And the poor hate me, but at the same time, it will lower alcohol consumption massively and give me a big boost to income. If we could remove people drinking alcohol altogether, that'd be fantastic. But, to do that, we need less poor people, and we need less people with the, with the homelessness problem. Because we've got that as a big problem at the moment, because unemployment's terrible. So what else is feeding into homelessness, then? St uh, immigration is a problem. Property tax is a problem for it. Poverty, of course, is increasing it massively. But of course, unemployment fixes poverty, fixes everything else as well. I'm trying my best. You know what? We've already been extreme this whole way, and clearly the problem I'm suffering from is I've been doing everything to the extreme. Rather than slightly increasing things, I've increased things to the absolute max every single time. But now I've already done that, I may as well continue. If I get re-elected, it's going to be so bizarre. Ooh. Oh, look at that, though. The poor will like me, socialists will like me, education likes me, poverty goes down! Unemployment goes down massively! I should check these things more. Screw it. That's where our money's going. Landmine ban. An engineering company in our country has just won a contract to manufacture and supply landmines for foreign countries. At the moment, there is no specific law that prohibits the company from making these products, but there is widespread public debate that we should ban the production of landmines within our borders. Okay, so the problem is with this logic is landmines cause a lot of civilian casualties and... But of course the problem is it's going to give us jobs. If we keep it, it gives us jobs and gives us money. I am going to reject the law. Damn it. Well... An, an oil pipeline has got attacked. Yay, unemployment's slowly going down. Don't worry, we're still ridiculously poor. Oh, our deficit's gone massively down. I'm doing something. I'm guessing because I taxed petrol, sorry, alcohol massively. I'm sorry, guys. On the upside, that should very soon start affecting alcohol consumption. Yep, as soon as that takes full effect, alcohol consumption's going to take it really, really well. Um, that's still increasing. GDP is stable-ish. Patriots hate me, the poor hate me, liberals hate me, I understand, I understand. Food Standard Agency. Doesn't cost much, it's bad for farmers, but we're already giving quite a lot to that. It's good for health and good for liberals, sure. It hardly even costs us anything for that. Public libraries, already have on a max. Could we tax, we could have a car tax, that gives us a lot of money, but be a huge problem for us. Hybrid cars is cheap and probably be good for, I'd imagine, the obvious things for car users and for the environment. Graduate tax. Um, as someone who is a graduate, no, <laughs> I can't do it. Married tax allowance. People love that. Micro generation grants. It's kind of cool. Costs us though. Economy. Tax shelters, and that, that would definitely give us money, but people would be very unhappy with it since we're going to basically allow people from other countries to have better rules than us. By not fully taxing the wealth of the super rich, tax shelters can be a great way to encourage successful entrepreneurs to make our country their home. At the moment, sure. 
look at how good that is for certain things, though. Ooh. Oh, it would actually take away the technological backwater. I've got to do it. I've got to, I've just got to get rid of some of these major problems. And again, I'm sorry people who, haven't, who have played this game before and know what the hell's going on. Screw it. We're gambling. See? People like me. Because we have legalized prostitution to fight the adverse effects of it. <laughs> I love that's a thing. Welfare fraud department. When government gives so much money out in welfare payments, it's essential that the money is correctly targeted and not exploited by people making... I can't say that word, claims. A dedicated fraud department will detect false claimants, recover lost money, and reassure middle-income taxpayers that their taxes are being spent wisely, although it can antagonize legitimate claimants. At the moment, the poor hate me and are having a bad time. I can't do that to them right now. Free eye tests. Sure. What's bad about that? Capitalists and the wealthy don't like me. Well, screw you two. This is a really nice thing to do. The poor will like me, so will the socialists, so will... Uh, poor earnings will increase, which is good. Okay, that's good. Which will help with poverty. Um, oil companies are keen to get permission to drill for oil in part of the country protected as a wildlife refuge. The oil supplies under the refuge are considerable, but the drilling would have a negative impact on the environment. At the moment, we're desperately trying to help the environment, but that's not our major goal. At the moment, it's just to try and stay afloat in terms of money, so I'm actually going to allow the drilling, although normally I would not allow that, because it's kind of evil. Okay. 60% of people still like me, and my deficit is increased. Excellent. That's all. Oh, look! We're going up! That's a good thing. That's going down! Okay! Things are looking better, even if we are losing a ridiculous amount of money at the moment. We're getting worse with that, so that's good. How's the technological backwater doing? Oh, that's almost gone! That's almost gone! Yes! I like looking at these. It's all different. I like just putting things into place. Supporters of organic farming say the state should subsidize this method of farming because of the perceived health benefits of food without artificial flavorings and additives. Wait. I fork. I, uh, I thought. I fork. I fork and spoon. No, I thought that organic literally. Well, I'm really dumb. I literally thought organic just meant using pesticides and stuff on the stuff uh, on the food before it gets processed. I didn't realize it also went with artificial flavorings and additives. I've never really been a strong advocate for organic foods. I've not, nothing against them, but I've never really cared about them, if that makes any sense. Um, probably good for, for the environment. I'm assuming it's good for health. Robotics Research Grants. Robotics is a very long-term area of research which will eventually bring about vast boosts in productivity, but at the same time it will reduce the amount of low or semi-skilled jobs in the economy. Not good right now. Foreign investor tax breaks, that's what I thought the other one was to be perfectly honest. I don't want that right now. Import tariffs. Has income. Cheap imports can be damaging to the economy because local companies cannot match the lowest the lower salaries paid by foreign competitors. Import tariffs help to protect local manufacturers from unfair competition. This does go against real free market economics though and can be seen as unfair to foreign countries, possibly sparking retaliation. Okay, so it takes away unemployment, it's good for patriots, it's bad for foreign relations, it's bad for international trade, it's really good for un- Oh yeah, it takes away that. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Deal. I think the tax might be taking effect now. So homelessness just makes everyone sad. So I don't really care. It's horrible to say, but right now, my, their votes, I don't care. I, I need things to be fixed. Unemployment, of course, causes this massively. And that's going down at the moment slowly. Particularly with some of the things still taking effect. Science funding, I've just maxed out already. Youth club subsidies. Uh, free youth clubs ensure that teenagers have a place to go which can help them stay out of trouble and in the long run reduce their incidence of crime. Free school meals, that'll actually be really good because that will help remove poverty and will help increase poor earnings and reduce obesity. Yes, good, I know it costs me money. 
appoint UN ambassador. Our ambassador to the UN retires this year, and we need to name a successor as soon as possible. Much will be made of whether we appoint a hardliner who sticks up for the country, or someone more able to compromise. Ooh, I don't know. Steve Harris is a popular figure on the international stage, a reputation for solving difficult problems through compromise and understanding. A true internationalist, he is popular with the socialists in our society. Our society. And the other group, then I assume, is popular with... Ah, yeah, with patriots. So that's not good with internally, though, so I'm going to go with Steve Harris. Oh, And it's currently a recession, which is causing even more problems. Yay! Still going up. Go me. I'm totally solving problems in the most roundabout way possible. Which is always good. The poor are starting to love me right now. I am doing everything I can to try and solve- Oh, look at that going down! I am seriously trying to do everything in my power, though, to solve the poor problem. That's like the biggest thing for me. I don't know why I'm focusing on it so much. Okay. Hybrid cars, what do you do? Whoop. Less oil, less oil demand is really good. Environmentalists will love us. Environment, uh, environmentalist income increases. Car usage increases, sadly, but it would be better for the environment, I assume, because reasons? Just because less oil. Yeah, go on. Because of the oil problems we had earlier as well. Not quite sure if that was really the smart thing to do there, but... Organ donation. Don't we already have organ do Oh, this is like forced organ donation. Okay. New university grants, I imagine that's going to be great for education. I wonder what that one does. Let's have a look. I hate the fact I have to buy it to look. I bet there's a way to get out of it, but I don't know. Good for education. Good for tourism, which we are going to lose a little bit of because of some of our things we've done recently. So, sure. We're building an opera house. Is there a way to check? You see, I can't tell. I, if there is a way, I'm sorry. I just can't tell if there is a way to check before buying it. Yes! Yes! I somehow solved the asthma e epidemic. Go me. And the technological backwater is no longer there. Internet scandal. Oi. Well, conservatives don't like me anymore. That's good. The deficit isn't quite as bad. I'm assuming... Oh, look at that. Oh, now some of the problems have gone away. We're going to start having some major benefits. Obesity is just kicking our asses at the moment because of... Um, where are you? The subsidies. I need to keep that though for unemployment. I'm still trying to. Oh, unemployment's going down massively. I might actually be okay. I played so badly though. I shouldn't be allowed to win. Corporation tax. Aha! <laughs> I'd screw everyone over so royally. What else do we have here? I know I shouldn't be looking at more stuff here, but I just like looking at stuff here. Now that, I know, rem takes away some of our uh, productivity, which is a bad thing right now, considering we have an un- <gasps> Wow, we're almost there! An uncompetitive economy, so that's good. Oh, come on, screw you, why? What increased alcohol consumption so much recently? Just, I mean, we could do this. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets alcohol, that'll stop it. Violent crime decreases, but I don't think we have, we have a, pro a, a crime problem. Uh, ooh. Well, ooh, hello. That's the best I wanted to see. Yeah, look, violent crime's actually gone already. So is normal crime, it's almost down to zero. Car usage has gone down as well, which is fantastic. I know that you lower some of the problems, uh, like uh, crime and stuff, but I don't really care right now. Biofuel. Good with farmers, good for the environment, good for motorists, good for fu It's good for everything, and it even removes some, some of our oil demand. So, oil demand does this. It simply affects the oil price. Which, of course, then... Okay, so the cheaper the oil price, the better it is for our GDP. Okay. At least I think that's how that works there. Okay, technological adv grants. Less unemployment, more GDP, more productivity, yes. And wait. Oh, it removes religious people. Okay, then. Yay! Oh. But yay! Oh. Yay! Oh. Yes! Our credit ratings have been upgraded! But organized crime is back. 
Because of gambling. Oh, okay, slow gambling a little bit, shall we? Not all the way down, though. I don't get rid of it. Just lower it for a bit. <gasps> we have a surplus! We're rich! We're in so much debt, but we're rich, guys! We did it! Now, this has a weird effect, which I didn't realize the first time I played, which is actually increases unemployment, because, of course, if you're earning enough whilst unemployed, you're more likely to stay unemployed, which is quite a big problem, honestly. More energy of... What does energy efficiency... Okay, here's something I don't know. What does energy efficiency actually do? Energy efficiency increases our GDP, decreases CO2, and decreases oil demand. So, yeah, we want this then. Okay, let's, let's max this out. Screw it. The environment will be happy. Capitalists will hate me, but capitalists will be hate Actually, we look pretty okay across the board, ex except for middle income. Once I have enough income, I will lower our income tax again. Okay, that, that'll go down by itself now. You're so close. You're not. Oh, we need to lower this. Sorry, unemployment. I'm so, so sorry, obesity. Okay. Is there anything else we can do to solve the obesity without getting rid of that? Because that is awesome and I want to keep it as long as possible. How about the organic? Does that help? It does! It does! It does! Okay, good for environments, good for farmers, good for health, good for farmers, good for farmers, farmers, farmers. You're welcome, farmers. Thanks, so, farmer. Yes! 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 Our homelessness has gone away, and so has our uncompetitive economy. We are gods amongst real men. Royal Scandal. A prominent member of the royal family has unfortunately made a comment that could be considered racist if taken out of context. The comment was overheard by press photographers and is causing a scandal. How will your government react? Um, how loyalist am I to the monarchy? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Uh, pfft. How does this affect anyone? I'm guessing it would affect patriots. Like, I'm guessing patriots would want me to support them, and liberals and stuff would like me to criticise them. Um, but it's taken out of context. But it's offensive, and the and the ruling elite, particularly, here's the problem. Okay, the monarchy in the UK really has very little power, just to put things out there. But they are a good tourist attraction, and honestly speaking, if they're on, if they're doing well, the country tends to do well with them. They are a very good source of income in terms of that. Of course, they are getting money for just being a king and queen and stuff. Well, a queen, I should say. And that's a problem because, of course, equality and stuff. I've, I've never, I've never really been sure where I stand on the monarchy. I don't think I would. I have friends who are uh, very much abolish the monarchy, and I and also have friends who are like, God bless the Queen. Uh, I'm somewhere in between. I like having a monarchy with their limited power, but also I don't think they should be above anything, so I'm going to criticise them. I know it's only a BB, but look! That stuff's going up! Oh, cool. I don't know what any of this really does. Yay! Income! Tax! Expenditure! State pr st Wow, state pensions are the biggest? Oh, but look how good it is for people. I'm not going to change that. Wow, that has a massive negative on, on poverty, but it costs an absolute fortune, so no. We're rich! I'm happy with this. Import tariffs still increase. Okay, so, organised crime. Okay, that's, that's going to go down by itself now. You're slowly going down. We could... We could... Do something about this by changing the... Law. But I don't really want to do that because I'm actually happy with this law in real life and I think 18 plus is fine. Honestly, I would take it down to 16 in real life. That's my honest thing, but... I'm also someone who's very much for the legal, the legal, legalization, the legalization of a marijuana. So, okay, the liberals hate me. If I increase this, alcohol consumption like goes down massively. It's, it stops being a positive, and that's actually the same negative. So it's minus ten rather than plus ten. Okay, we're going to put it up to twenty-one instead, which a lot of countries already have it as that. So I'm okay with that. Narcotics, legalize cannabis. <laughs> Oh, oh, of course, that would take away some organised crime. Legal drug consumption will go up, though. What does that do? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what is legal? It does nothing? 
Their consumption will be affected by GDP. Okay. I am actually going to legalize that next time. Next. Market meltdown. At the same time, credit rating improved. 88% of people love us. Yay. And we have a big surplus. Oh, we're going to make it. We've done it, guys. I have no idea how. The dark gods were with us. Ooh, hello. Enterprise, Enterpri Enterprise Investment Scheme. Uh, is a system which gives tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their money in small startup companies which are based in this country. The scheme encourages investments in companies which would eventually grow to stimulate the economy, whilst at the same time giving a popular tax break to people who invest in them. Obviously, indirectly, the scheme is being subsidised by those without savings to invest. That's a good point, actually. But, GDP. And self-employed, and as a self-employed person, I'm very biased with this. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. I'm actually going to lower income tax slightly. Which, oddly enough, takes far less capital to do, because people are generally very, very happy with decreasing this. There we are, middle income people, you can be really happy about that. And alcohol still a pro- Oh! Alcoholism is almost gone, so is that. Oh, all our big problems, but obesity. Screw obesity. I'm going to take this down a little bit more. So what else can we do then for just general stuff? Okay, now, I'm not going to have this. I, I would like that, but I'm not going to have it. I'd actually like this. Okay, so robotics research grants is terrible for unemployment, but look at that productivity increase. Wait. What? 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 Unemployment, unemployment. How? I don't... I don't get it. Why... Why are they both different? Oh, I don't know how that works. How does that work? Is it like... I guess there's the people researching, but then the fact that the robots will take... Will take our jobs. I'm going to leave it as that then. Very, very minimal. Just to increase our tech and productivity a little bit. Have to keep an eye on our... Wow. I think we can... I think we can allow that to happen then. We have some major unemployment, like, epicness. No one's unemployed at the moment. It's fantastic. So, obesity, how would I be able to stop you? Organic farming, would be maxed out. Okay, it's still taking effect. Um, we can lower this even more later on, perhaps. Oh, election! Yes. Yes! Yes! We are just really good at this. You're gonna love President Lafrix. Or, well, it's not actually president in this country, but you get the idea. Maybe it's because of the whole political stuff going on in America at the moment may have persuaded me to say it that way. Yay! No more alcohol abuse. Extradite terror subject. A Middle East country with which we have no formal treaty has requested that we extradite an immigrant living here to them to face charges of terrorism. They accuse him of being responsible for car bombings in their capital city. But the only evidence they have of this is the confessions of other terror subjects, which may have been made under duress. Oh. Oh, that is such an awful one, because both are such bad... Oh, it's like, oh, oh. I, um... I... But they are fighting terrorists, and if the situation were reversed, we would be outraged at their refusal to send terrorists to face trial. That is true, I'd... When I read things, I always try and think of it the other way around. How would we feel if it happened to us? And I think we would go absolutely bonkers. So I'm going to extradite them, although I don't fully agree with my decision. We have a tiny little surplus. A tiny little baby surplus. And with that, I'm actually going to call the episode. Um, if you would like to see more of this in the future, with me playing better, perhaps on higher difficulties, then please feel free to tell me below. I had a lot I had a lot of fun. I just really wanted to play this again after a long time. So, once again, I do forgive the... I really do hope you forgive, rather, me for being absolutely terrible. I do apologise what I was trying to say there. It's very late at night. I do apologise again for speech. I apologise for everything, but mostly I apologise for the absolute insanity that was my game style of just going absolutely mental with everything I can see. So, 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Democracy 3 is a series you wish to see in the future, or perhaps just a few random gameplays or streams of it in the not so distant future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Long live the Lathrixian Legion.